That's right, you guessed it, it's that time of week again. You get to see this model-esque chiseled cheek trying to grow the new beard pretty face again. And I'm bringing you some shit you ain't heard of YouTube yet because these motherfuckers just reached out to the kid. I ain't seen nothing on YouTube yet. And even if you have seen it on YouTube, it wasn't by me. I'm kind of reluctant when companies or brand ambassadors reach out to me and kind of like, yo, we want to send you this, get your thoughts on it, da 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 The reason being that one, some companies can't accept the fact that I'm not gonna gas you up just cause you send me shit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all and tell you, yeah, this shit is flame when it's fucking boiling hot dog shit. Some companies or brand ambassadors kinda want you to boost it a little bit to, you know, so influencers or vloggers or whatever the fuck we wanna consider us get units moved. I don't rock that way. That's not the way I operate. So there's a very big fucking disclaimer on the top of my head saying this. If you want to send shit to my P.O. box, feel free to, I'm appreciative of anything you send. Will it get reviewed? Maybe. Will I boost it just to help you out or because you want to cut me a check or because you want to continue to send me free shit and it sucks? No. I love money. I love free shit as much as the next dude. But the fact of the matter is, one, I'm not going to fuck with my credibility or my nose. Number two, like, who is you to tell me what the fuck to do? You can eat a fat one. Number three, I'm against authority and everything else. So the more you tell me to do something, guess what the fuck I'm going to do? The complete opposite. That's childish, petty. That's me. I don't give a fuck. They were like, nah, you do you. A little feedback to us directly or whatever. I was like, I right, send it. So they sent a nice little package, check them out, and I'm gonna let you guys make the final determination and see if you guys even wanna fuck with them or hear about it or what my little feedback is on these joints. So let's roll my motherfucking music and let's get this bullshit started. The sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. All right, bitch bags, let's get this shit going. So as I mentioned in the intro, the company who blessed me with this little care package is Royal Perfumes. Their link will be in the description. Check them out if you decide to after this review. Um, I actually checked out the website. It's a real basic website or whatever. But one thing that I will give them, and you'll get to see what I mean by it once I show you the presentation of some of these, Super fucking Middle Eastern. Holy shit bags. It's got a nice little pretty package to it, which is always a plus. If you got a little pretty package for your display, if you're that type of bitch that wants to see your shits look cute, these joints look kind of cool. So I'm gonna start off with two decants that they sent me. So this is the first decan, and it's pronounced A-H-D. I'm gonna call it Ad, because I have no fucking idea how to pronounce it. I'm not Middle Eastern, and I can barely fucking speak English. But look how pretty this fucking decant is. Look at this shit right here. Look at this, metal joint. It's got these blue stones on the bottom. It's got that blue rock on top. It's fucking metal. It's a little heavy. The only thing is this shit is oil. Look at this joint. It's, it's straight fucking oil. Now, I'm not a big person on oils at all because I like to spray my clothes. Obviously, if I put this shit on my clothes, I'm sure it'll fuck up. Not that I'm gonna test it for y'all motherfuckers, but Take my word for it. Pour some fucking Crisco on your chest and see if your nipples don't shine through your fucking shirt after you do that. So I did test this out and actually it's a fucking nice oil. It's a really nice fragrance. I put it on my skin, obviously it has a nice shine to it. It being oil, the longevity was pretty crazy. I didn't put too much of it because I didn't want to murder anybody around me, but it's a really nice fucking scent. It smells like a combination of fragrances that I'm sure most of us know, I just can't pinpoint them. I'll give you the notes that they're saying on the website, because you guys are fucking geniuses and I'll be like, oh, that's this. Again, I have 200 plus bottles and I smell shit all the time. It should pop into my head, but you know, I drink a lot. So the notes are citrus, violet, lemon, cedar, coriander, amber, and woods. Now speaking in English, the shit smells nice. It smells really nice, pleasant, party, nighttime. Pretty mass appealing, actually. It's not usually, you know how some Middle Eastern fragrances can kind of be clawing or a little too funky or it's got that B.O. vibe. Not at all. This shit is mass appealing, 
popping. Longevity is crazy because it is a fucking oil. Presentation of this decan shit is dope. It'll be heavy to carry this shit in your pocket because again, it's like a, it's kind of like a fucking Perfumes de Marley cap. They're, they're, it's a little heavy. Really nice fragrance though. Uh, nicer than I thought. And this decant is about 6 ml. It's just 15 bucks. That's like pretty schnazzy for a fucking, for a metal decant of this type of presentation and that quality oil. 15 bucks, that's not bad. A-H-D, ah, and, ah, and, ah, <laughs> that's how it's pronounced. Next one. Next one is also about 15 bucks. This is actually another 6 ml and it's called Den, D-E-H-N. This is what it looks like. Presentation, you can see how thick that fucking oil is. Also, this is also an oil. See, right here, it's got that thing that you stick up your ass so you can smell oily in your butthole and you you know, that'll be secretions for real. Now this joint, <clears throat> <coughs> <coughs> Oud Beasts. All you super duper Oud lovers. This is Oud on top of Oud, mixed in with a little bit of Oud and sprinkled with Oud. The notes say Oud, Amber, and Woods. AKA Oud, Oud, and Oud. The strong as fuck. Not for this time of year if you're in New York City because it's now getting warmer and if you wear this joint, holy fuck. It's not a bad Oud and it's not B.O. Oud. But this shit is diesel. Is this something that I'm gonna rock this winter? I don't know, it would have to be like, I would have to take like a cameo trip to motherfucking Alaska, dress warm. Now by tomorrow morning, you're gonna be working in Alaska. So dress warm. And see how this shit would hold up. If you like Oud, again, this is 15 bucks for six ml. If you like Oud and you one of them Oud fucking like, ah. Try this shit out for 15 bucks, who knows? Next one, this one's called Oud Spray. Pretty cool looking bottle, plastic shit cap. But this one, this is a, out of the four, this one's the most expensive. This one's $65 for 100 ml. This, the simplest way that I can put it to you, to you it's a mix of Tuscan leather and Godolphin by Parfums de Marley. It's fucking nice. Bergamot, raspberry, gardenias, rose, violet, lavender, amber, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, labdanum, vetiver, oud, and vanilla. It's very nice, leathery, smoky, woody. The vanilla is definitely present. The citrus notes definitely calm down all that darkness that's in here and brings it up. Very Godolphin-esque. Is it a carbon copy of Godolphin? No, but if you like Godolphin, you like Tuscan leather, if you like those dark, woody, beautiful, creamy with light citrus notes to help uplift all the darkness, this is actually pretty solid. It is very solid. I had a chance to wear it right before it started getting hot as fuck, and I didn't get compliments on it. I don't also get crazy compliments on Godolphin and Tuscan leather, to be honest with you. Those are like man pleasers. You know, we sometimes wear shit to please women, those aren't really like women pleasers. Those are more like to impress other dudes or yourself. This is one of them, but it's fucking solid. The longevity on this shit was eight hours plus. So the shit lasted a good fucking amount. And it's pretty good considering the fact that I can't read anything that it says on there. And I get kind of suspect with shit like that. This could be, you know, this could be possibly laced with cocaine. I don't know. And if it is, send four more. It's solid, very solid. I actually like it. And last but certainly not least, Look at the presentation on this shit. This motherfucker came in this joint. Hey, bitch. And let's see if I can open this without dropping the bottle. Cause you know me, I stay dropping shit. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Look at that, I didn't drop it yet. Let me hold it here. And that's what it looks like. This one's called Shal. Look at the detail, I'll take it out. No more box. Look at this shit. Now, by the looks of this bottle, it looks like an Arabic princess or a Middle Eastern princess would wear. And rightfully so, because this one on me leans a little femme. It's a unisex fragrance, but it definitely has a feminine flow to it. This one's kind of actually fresh. It's green, musky, floral, not nasty florals, 
pretty nice, soft, not OD, old lady florals. And then you got tonka, amber, and musk to help calm down those florals a little bit. That's why I said it's unisex. For me, it leans a little bit femme. There's, you know, the florals really fight you on trying to come through and there's definitely a battle of genders going inside of this bottle with the florals fighting the dark, the amber and the musk. It's a nice fragrance though. Uh, listen, uh, again, you know I'm not gonna lie to you guys because they send me shit. Is this one I'm gonna wear a lot? No, it does lean more femme on my skin and I'm feminine enough as it is sometimes. Yeah, sure. It's on sale on their website for $59 for 100 ml. That presentation alone is super handy. First place, second place, third place, oh, fourth. This shit is tough. These fragrances are all available at that website below. Again, that, you know, they sent me this. Thank you guys for sending it to me. I appreciate it. This is pretty decent shit. It definitely made me curious to see what else you guys got in your stash. If you guys have an opportunity to try these out, especially the little samples, because I think they're a solid price, go to the website below, try any of them out. If you've heard of this shit, let me know if there's something that I should check out. And uh, that's pretty much it. These motherfuckers is pretty solid. Are any of these ball sprayers right now? Uh, the, my favorite one is a Dinks, a dropper, and I'm not gonna put this stick near my fucking pee hole, because that's weird as hell, and it might burn and sting. And I'm not at the doctor's office for him to be fondling everything and checking me for STDs. We're not about that life, I'm a married man. I do not have those issues anymore. Not that I ever did. I love you motherfuckers from the heart and the unsprayed testicles. I'll see you motherfuckers next time. You know who it is. This your boy, Smooches. Hello. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.